Hey guys, that's right, it's me again, the awesome and fabulous four-fingered belch king. <laughs> How are you guys doing? So today, <laughs> I got a special video because, as you can see behind me, I put up my Punisher Mike Zek lithos, that's right. Because today I'm going to talk to you about a super cool subject, which is comic book grails versus comic book holy grails. Uh, and of course, I understand that this subject is very subjective, but here's how it goes for me. A comic book grail is a comic book that... Uh, you've wanted all your life. That's quite expensive, hard to find, but not out of reach. Know what I mean? Whereas a holy grail is something that is either unattainable uh, or extremely, extremely expensive. For example, Action Comics number one. You know, over a million dollars. Uh, Detective Comics number 27. Over a million dollars. I mean, come on, guys. Who the hell can afford these books, you know? Or something like, uh, let's say, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300, graded by CGC 9.8. Yeah, that's pretty damn expensive too, you know what I mean? Uh, uh. So, <laughs> in today's video, I'm going to do a special unboxing of <laughs> of my number one holy grail for me. Uh, but before that, let me tell you what my three grails are. Grail number one is Savage Short of Conan number one. Now, like I said, this is a grail, not a holy grail. This book I've wanted since 1991. That's right. Uh, 1991. When I discovered... Savage Short of Conan magazine, and I started buying them every single month. Uh, and back then, I started, you know, buying the back issues like everybody else. Uh, but number one was always way, way, way too expensive for me. Because, you know, life is life, and you don't always have a lot of money. And this was kind of hard to find, you know. Well, I finally have it. And if I were to get this one graded, I do believe it would get probably an 8.0 or something like that. 7.5, 8, 8.5, which is pretty damn good for an, uh, an early uh, 70s black and white magazine. So this is my grail number one, which I do have. Grail number two, <laughs> Punisher number one, limited series. And this is the uh, Canadian price variant. I don't know if you can see this properly. The Canadian price variant, guys. That's right. And I've uh, slabbed it myself. And I made my own label, as you can see. Printed it myself. And I'm very proud of this book. I've had this book since probably 1995 or so. And back in the day, I paid like 60 bucks for this. And 60 bucks back then for me was a hell of a lot of money, guys. So anyway, 
again, if I were to get this graded by CGC, this would probably get a 9.0. It is a super clean copy, but I'm not going to do that. I love this book too much. And, uh, hey, this is my, <laughs> my number two grail. And now, <laughs> let's move on to <laughs> what's in this box, man. What's in this box is my ultimate, ultimate grail. So I'm going to open this up and show it to you. <laughs> Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Who needs this shit? <laughs> Guys, feast your eyes on this amazing Spider-Man. Number 129, CGC 6.5. That's right. And like I said, this is not a holy grail because to be a holy grail, it would have to be 9.0 or better. Still, guys, right now this book is worth around 2,000 bucks. That's what I paid for it, $2,000. And I finally have it. I have all the reprints. You know, all the homage covers of this book. But this <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> this is the jewel of my collection. It is my personal grail, holy grail, my number one. This was a dream of mine. And I finally got my hands on one. And, you know, I pulled the trigger. And I spent 2000 bucks, and I'm like, who gives a shit? It's only money, right? This, guys, this is a book. And a 6.5 for a 1976 book that probably has been read a few times is pretty damn cool. <laughs> so, I hope you like this video, guys. You can leave in the comments what your grails are and what you would like to get and you know i read every single comment and i answer everybody all the time whoever you are so if you like this video click subscribe tell all your friends about me the fabulous four fingered belch king and i will see ya baby <laughs> <laughs>